Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special interview here at Game Informer. I am Alex Stadnik and I am joined with Liana Rupert, but that's not all. We have royalty in the house today. How often we get royalty here? We are joined by the Grand Dames, a collection of, of gamers who have come together and done some really amazing stuff so far. Um, so I'll introduce you one by one. Uh, first up, we have Dame Hadi. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you doing? I am so good. I'm so excited to to be able to talk to y'all and uh, and get into get into the grand dames here. Um, next up, we have uh, Dame Mary. Hello, welcome from oh. the mountains. I think you said mountains of North Carolina. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Is it nice there? Oh, it's beautiful. Cool. Yeah, you can yeah. see the mountains in the distance, and the temperature is cooler. Beautiful. Nice. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Next up, we have Dame Shirley. Hello, Shirley. How are you? Hello, Alex, and I'm glad to meet everyone. Glad to glad uh, glad you're with us. You you play a certain Skyrim, right? Is that the game yes, you play? Yeah. That's mostly what I play. I do play other things sometimes. Okay. But mostly. Cool. And last but not least, the Admiral, self-proclaimed. Uh we have uh Dame Jessa in the house with us. Hello, Jessa. Hi. Well, we never had a meeting about like what my title was. And um, so eventually I just started being called Admiral and that kind of stuck. And here we are. <laughs> um, I am fascinated to know how did y'all meet? What was the what was the, the process with that? What is the origin story of this super group here? I, and anyone can take this question, but I, I'm fascinated to know. Well, I'll start. It kind of started back. It's originated with Shirley and. Shirley and I did it. Shirley asked me, do you want to do a panel at PAX and on older gamers? I said, sure. So she arranged it and we did it. I can't remember if it was West or I think it was was West. West. Yeah. So we did that. Then the next year she wanted to do it again. And this time she knew Jessa and brought on Jessa. So then we had a panel of three. So we all three of us have met in person. And then last year we did a virtual panel and Apparently that went over really well, and the discussion came up about forming a group. Um, Jessica can give you more details, but that's sort of how it all came about, uh, that we wanted to continue to do something as a group, and then the group got named, and here we are. Where's the, where's the name yeah. come? I was going to say, what's the origin of the name? We need. We to did a Twitter, uh, a Twitter contest for Twitter. a $20 Steam gift card at Ooh. Radio Quiet. Stars is uh is the person who who gave us our name. Okay, so it was a it was a community community venture. That's cool. Yeah, I did I didn't know yeah. that. And we actually had it down to two um uh choices basically for for doing it. One was the Silver Bells, and the other was the Grand Dames. And so I um. I mean, because at that point, I mean, I was basically the the I, <laughs> one of the earliest um, moments where we had where it was the three of them um, come telling me what was going on. They they said, you know, you're our leader from like, I don't know, the first live stream or the second live stream. They said, OK, you're our leader. And I said, I'm not the leader. And they said, oh, yes, you are. <laughs> She's and a natural. So I was, I was a reluctant leader, but after the about, it took me about six months before I got comfortable with the role. But one of the first leadership things I did was I chose between the Silver Bells and the Grand Dames, and I chose the Grand Dames because the first of all, it has the word "grand" in it for, for grandmother. Um, I loved the idea of calling us dames. I mean, that's just great, and it's very catchy. It's so much more catchy than three ladies are playing, I mean, four ladies are playing a game or talking about games, you yeah. know, the dames. And that's really become a bar- part of our identity. And then also, dames rhymes with games, and our tagline okay. is, and we play games. So. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I think dames was the was the right call, personally. Um, beautiful. What do, you, what do you all like to play together? What is, what's kind of that connective tissue between y'all? Do, or, do, or is it just the love of games, period? Um, I think it's the love, love of games. games. We don't actually play together. Yeah, we don't play together. Yeah. And yeah. we all play different genres and we all play different games actually when we 
when you find out a little bit more about us, we, we're not all Bethesda, although I do play Bethesda as well. We all play different things, but we've never, we, we don't actually play together, but we talk about gaming and we all love gaming. So, But uh, yeah, we don't play games. That's one of the things that we decided early on when, when um, and I can give you actually a little bit more follow-up on how the games came about after the PAX situation. So yeah. for my part of the, the story, um, uh, in 2020, with the pandemic and all, PAX West was online and uh, i around july of 2020 i started thinking i wonder if pax west is going to be how they're going to be doing it what's going to be happening so i went to their site and it was online and it just so happened those wonderful words of serendipity um that there was just five days left to submit a panel i said "Ooh, i could do this because traveling to pax west even when it's not a pandemic is challenging and um expensive and you know takes me away from my husband which i hate so uh but i thought well i mean if it's going to be online i mean i can do that i can live stream no problem so i submitted a few panels um and two of them got accepted and one of them was the idea for um tea with with grandmas and actually how that came about is i went to shirley and i said hey shirley there's going to be um a pax there's pax is going to be online and like, we could do something online. That's really great. We don't have to travel. We don't have to do any of that. And, um, and she said, tell me if I'm quoting you wrong, Shirley. But she said, well, it's funny that you asked me this because I just, Pax asked me if I want to do a panel. And I said, no. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but for you, for you, I'll do a panel. And so Aww. I said, you know, let's, let, because Shirley, uh, also a little history of that Shirley and I have been really close for about, oh, I don't know, five years now, somewhere around there. It's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, yeah. And so we had a close relationship before then. That's really what helped pro propel the dames off the ground because both of us played Skyrim on our channels and we found our channels through that. And then it just started talking and then it just became a friendship over the years. So um, I thought, well, we don't want to just be have a boring panel. Let's do something interesting. Let's do something unique. And I thought a tea party like would be great, but it would be cool if it was like a tea party. And you think that we're like these really sweet little old ladies. But then we're just like talking about games being sassy. We have an idea, which we still plan to do, where we would each hold up um, something that was very typically old lady ish like a crochet hook or um, knitting needles or like some, what do you call that? Cross stitching or something yeah. like that. And just throw it over our shoulders on the count of three and then hold up our controllers. Like, you know, we can, we're not, there are other ways that yeah. you can be a grandma and other things that you can do as well. But anyway, basically we had the panel and it was what really, because I am the one who came up with the idea of starting the channel because I was so overwhelmed by the incredible response. First of all, the response was immense. And the one thing that really stuck with me is how many people said, oh, my gosh, this makes me miss my grandmother. My grandmother passed away because so many people lost their grandparents last year. Oh, yeah. So um, and that there was not just a need to, you know, uh, how cute that we're talking about gaming, you know, but. Grandma Gaming is, you know, Shirley was the pioneer with that. And it's starting, she's been doing it for enough years now that it's, not, I mean, it's cute, but it's not got a lot of staying power. You know, after a while, you're like, okay, great, your grandma's now, what else can you do? So it was very important for me to talk about life as well, too. And I also decided from the get-go that it would be just one live stream a month because we are all older. We don't have a lot of energy. Um, and from that, I would build the entire channel, um, using the chicken leg method of content creation. So the point of each live stream is for me and our editor, Ruby, to get as much content out of one live stream as possible that we then convert into shorts, Instagram, oh. TikTok, all kinds of things just from one live stream. So the live streams are very organized with the goal that we're going to be pulling a lot of content out of that to reuse and reuse and reuse and montages and that kind of stuff. Um, so basically that's how we came about. That's really how we run things. And it, it was important for us from the beginning 
to not play games together. One, because it would be frick. I mean, we can't even get in a discord call without one of us having a trouble. So, you know, it would be, it would, it would be technically challenging for sure, you know, yeah. but also because we wanted to talk about games, but also we talk about life. So every live stream has a, um, a theme. And so the, it's uh, uh, done in three parts. One is the what are you playing section, which we just talked about games. Two yeah. is grandma's table. That's where we invite you to come to grandma's table. Get some. We made some cookies for you. They're always your favorite, no matter what they are. Gluten-free, we got you. Anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> vegan, we're on, we on, we're on that. Love it. So, yeah. and we, we, you know, and so you, we, and then we all sit down together and have tea and just talk about our life experiences. We've done them on body positivity. We've done them on turning failure to success. We've done them on um, how to deal with loneliness. That was one of the first ones we did next week. Uh, next month, we're doing one on manifestation and miracles and uh, things that have happened. Amazing stories that have happened in our life. Wow. And then we follow up with ask the Danes and the live stream has that structure to it. So it's not just about us coming together to play games because everybody else is doing that. But there's no one else out there that is just connecting the young people to the heart of the elderly and the older folks out there. Because, yeah, we're all gamers, but we're human as well, too. And we're struggling with real issues, particularly now at this time in our life. Could I interject something right there? Please. I'm glad that Jessa has started that role on the Grand Dames, which I consider her channel, because on my channel, from the very beginning, I responded to the many, many people that would comment to me about losing their grandmother or all the different uh, places that I took in their life in place of their grandmother, that some of them said their grandmother hates them and all this stuff. But then it kept progressing into the suicide state. And I tried to respond to all of that as best that I could, since I'm not a therapist. But it got to be so emotional for me. It hurt. And that caused stress. And, uh, and so I just had to quit responding to it. So for to sure. me, it seems like Jessa has taken on that role. Thank goodness. Wow. Yeah. It, it basically. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah. And Shirley's right. I mean, Shirley says it's my channel. And that's from the standpoint of the fact that I run everything from the background yeah. that it is, but not from the standpoint of all of us being equally involved it, from, um, from a place of uh, being there each month and opening hearts and stories and lives up to what, to what's going on. So that's why it says the Grand Dames. I mean, there's another channel called the Jessa channel. That's my channel. For but sure. the Grand Dames channel is yeah. uh, a group a group effort. And also, um, Shirley will share stories in, in the live streams that are really touching. And really, she shared one last week, uh, last time about that, uh, just life itself. And all of us are sharing. And Haughty can particularly tell you about people who've not only lost their grandparents, but who are not welcome at their grandparents anymore because of their life choice, their life, um, who they've chosen, you know, how they've chosen to come out, how they live. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's an interesting space um, being part. I only came to the Grand Dames uh, last month, so two months. And, but we all have our own brands. We all have our own channels. And I've only been streaming for 12 months since the pandemic. And so my my growth has been quite rapid and I'm a partner now. But my space Congrats. is very well known for being inclusive. And um, that comes from my professional background, bringing that into this space. And so what Jessa said, my, you know, when you look at uh, older streamers and older gamers, um, I get a lot of DMs from people saying, I was not accepted because I am trans. I was not accepted because I'm gender fluid. And so in, in my space particularly, um, and my husband will account, I call him my wingman, pun intended. He'll sometimes come onto stream, so they know him as well. We're seen as an, a representation of older folk who, in their own lives, um, whilst you know we certainly don't replace grandparents or anything like that, we represent people who did not accept them for whatever reason, you know. And so I think tagging on from what Jess and Shirley said, there's a lot of a lot of young people, a lot of people of different ages, who are simply not being accepted just because of who they are. And to have a space like my own channel and, and their channels and, and collectively as the Grand Dames 
to say it's safe here we, we've got you here mm-hmm. you know I think that's that's so Im- important you know and I'm I'm a mental health advocate for some organizations as well and so it's this this space is saying it's okay to be who you are and it's okay to come in when you're not being you know treated well or you're having a bad day is and, and especially in gaming you know we need to there's some stigmas mm-hmm. in mental health 100%. especially yeah. you know we need to we need to challenge them uh, m- more and more well that, that's all that's really interesting because coming into this I, w- I was ready to ask you all about how you feel about representation because you know you all are very much um you know not a stere- wrongly stereotyped group of like white guys playing games right what are the challenges with that, though? Obviously, representation seems to really matter to you all, which is important and is a changing conversation in this industry. But like, what are the challenges with that? Have you had, you know, those conversations with trolls and that kind of stuff? Like, what is what is it like being like pioneers for that and, and people who who push that? Like when I first started streaming and stuff, there there was a lot of trolls that come in and they, they'd say a lot of things. And I think all of us have experienced it on one level or another. Um and either say something about your age or mock you for, for whatever. Um, the other thing would be um, because gaming is geared towards a younger group. And I've seen this with some friends of mine who are in their like late forties are saying that the, uh, the representation of older gamers isn't translating to uh, these game companies who want sponsorships right. and to give things. And they're going to the younger people, you know, here, here's a chair. Here's now uh, a microphone. Here's a you know, but the older people don't seem to be getting that same kind of opportunity to represent. Um, now, I won't say all. Some do. Yes, yeah, so I would say we do. We do get the the trolling and the thing and and the people who don't really see the older gamer. But the the trick is, everybody is coming our direction. Everybody's getting older, and everybody in their thirties now is one day going to be in their sixties and seventies. So. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be 27 you know? forever. Don't say that. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, it's so Coming funny. For it's so funny because in this industry, it really is. It is geared. I, I know uh, before I came over to Game Informer, I was working at another big company, and and I was told I was approaching the age of of not being a viable writer, and I'm only 34. <laughs> Oh my, yeah, oh my like, word! Don't listen oh to them. <laughs> no. So this is this is very yeah. I'm very intrigued because you know we just had a game called Returnal come out, which the protagonist is a is a middle aged woman, and I was happy to see that because I was just like you don't really see that you if you see a character of that age group, it's usually it's it's made to amplify another character. They're never on their own, and I, I'm glad to see that changing both on the game development side and then in the streaming side too, because it is important. And surely I, I'm going to fan out here for a second, but I was drawn to your channel a couple of years ago because I, I never had a, a you know grandparents or anything like that. I, I grew up you know my own, uh, and, and and so like for me, I was just Im- immediately drawn to your channel. Never, I never, I don't think I ever like dropped questions or anything. But it was just like, man, I wish I had somebody to get advice to or, or just center myself a little bit. So I just like, I'm going to watch Shirley stream some Skyrim. <laughs> get my tea going and get my comfy sweatpants on. And and it's great because you guys are just, it's very evident in your streams. And especially when you guys are together, that you're very authentically yourself. You have something to say. It's not from a gimmick angle. It's you're being yourselves and, and intentional in and how you're inserting yourself in the community. And I, and I love, you love to see it because Absolutely. you need to see it. Yeah. And yes. And I respond and a little bit to that. Okay. Um, I get a lot of comments about, about my age, but it's all positive. Whereas at the beginning it wasn't at all, but I really spend a lot of time monitoring my channel because I what I can't stand, I don't care what they say to me, but what I can't stand is when they get on there and argue back and forth to each other, or somebody comes on there and thinks they're the the police of everything and start correcting everybody's speech or something. And and I have people on there from all over the world, and a lot of them English isn't their first language, and they try their best. And when somebody comes on there and belittles them, 
acts like they don't know anything. It just angers me so badly. So I started putting a stop to that way back at the beginning, too. And everyone in my comment section is so nice now to each other. Mm -hmm. They help each other. They'll answer questions to someone for me because they feel like I get tired of answering them, which is fine. <laughs> Please help. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's great. I loved it. I loved what Shirley is saying um, is is really true and leads to my response really from the the technical side of it or the person who runs the live streams is um, the the dames came together and somebody I think it was Mary just used the word collective or maybe it was you um, Alex but there is we we are a collective the reason the dames each brought something to the table that was invaluable to have not only combined our audiences um, and, and, but we've also, each of us focuses on a another a different areas of gaming. You know, there's, I mean, we, the, things overlap for sure, but um, each of us has our different sort of interests, which is wonderful. We didn't want to be the girl band of gaming where we are all very similar, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. We, we wanted we wanted to have each of us be different to show you that what some people really connect more to Hardy or to Mary. Like Mary's thing, like she loves putting on, like she's like the cosplayer. She loves putting on the mask, so the hats. She usually has something on that just got, people just I, love it. She uh, has all the, what do you, do you have anything now, Mary? Nope, yeah, not nothing. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> But she you know she comes with the cowboy hat, the Disney mouse ears, um, the Borderlands mask, which was awesome. Like she's just she's so Mary sells our merch. To be honest, she doesn't even, but she really does. Um, and she's just by being herself. Like no, we didn't have any plan. We didn't say okay, now you do this and you do this and you do this. But also as well as the troll issue. To answer your question on that, what I brought to the table beyond just the ability to run the back end of it. I brought an extremely seasoned, no play around, five person mod team wow. that has is is honed. So they, when you go to a live stream, it's actually really impressive. They are in the live stream uh, a half an hour before the stream starts, greeting everyone. Wow. No okay. one comes in that live stream without being personally greeted. We don't use bots in our live stream, and I don't think we ever will. Everything is run by an actual person. If someone is saying hi to you, it's not a bot. It's an actual human being typing the words into the, the thing. That's awesome. And one of the things is that we never see trolls. The dames, I don't know. You dames, do you guys ever really see trolls in chat? Because, no, no because our dames. mod team, no, our mod team is in a honed Sing. team of serious they do not play they are so kind they're like this they're like hi welcome to the grand dame's cottage come on into the living oh. room we have your favorite cookies and oh do you want a splash of something special in your tea we got that for you too here you go and then they're like sit down welcome and then the person goes yeah you know what you guys are a bunch of old bags hello welcome to the door boot there's there's no there's no, we don't do warnings. We don't do oh. now. You behave or else or timeouts. You have one opportunity to behave. If you can't behave like you would in your actual grandma's house, we will simply quietly, firmly show you the door. And that will be it. There's no discussion. It happens completely silently in the background. The troll gets one word, one opportunity, and then they're it's and almost like people back. should just be decent human beings to each other. Yeah, well, that's, that's what I expect but, on my channels. Exactly. So a lot of it, we haven't had a lot of trouble in recent months. We did have a little, uh, we did expect it, but when we did body positivity, um, we all, you know, did a trailer for that live stream showing off our, Shirley went, body positivity. <laughs> yeah. I right love there. it. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> right? I'm with you, right there. girl. Right there, right there, right there. Right there baby. <laughs> we all got that. Yeah. Exactly. And we just stood up and said, so we knew that that would attract trolls because they love to go for yeah. a woman's body and use that. 
to create violence, but yeah. they got, I mean, we barely saw them because they came in for two seconds and then boom, <laughs> gone. That's all the dissension they deserve, to be honest. So. Exactly. I'd be remiss, I think, if I didn't ask. Uh, we're, we're running close to time here, but I, I, I'm curious, like, what's next? What what should the fans uh, expect from y'all? Like, what are you all excited about? It could be games, it could be content, like, you know, floor is yours. And for me, it's it's uh, it's it's growth, just continually to grow. Um, and you know, as as Mary said, getting the brands, brands are slowly reaching out. They're, they're realizing, you know, how many older gamers there are. So for for me, it's it's pushing that message of we're not only here, we're growing. You know, I've had some brands contact me, and I'm sponsored, which is terrific. But we need more representation. Quit the stereotype. You know, where there's more of us, there's way more of us. So that's my plan. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. What about you, you ladies? Mr. Want me? What you got other than Skyrim? Well, I played a, a horror game called The Land of Pain by Alessandro Gusso, and he's a one man developer. And it's a, the scenery is beautiful, and the game makes you feel fear. It's not going down hallways and trash littered all over the place and jump scares. He really has the atmosphere going and makes you feel scared. And uh, he has a new game coming out later this year, which is sort of a sequel to that one, and it's called... Uh Uh-oh, my mind went blank. No, that's not what it's called. (laughs) But (laughs) Alien Cube, that's what it's called. So I'm really Mm -hmm. anxiously waiting for that. Okay. Because I can't find a horror game that I like that makes me feel scared. Have you tried Facade? You... Yeah, I looked at that and watched somebody playing it, and I thought, no, that's not for me. Yeah, Art, yeah. <laughs> we have a guy who's on staff that's a very horror fanatic, and he knows I'm a huge weenie, and he made me play it, and I played like five minutes, and I was like screaming, like, no, I'm, I'm good. You're kidding. I'm good. I'll go watch like Aladdin or something on TV. It's fine. <laughs> Shirley is definitely the most. Um, uh, we have a, a, a Shirley is metal hashtag Shirley is metal, but she's definitely the most like. Uh, she's not a wussy. That's for sure. <laughs> she's she's very sweet and gentle and and but in in that heart beats a heart of steel. I'll chop your head off with a sword as soon as look at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they get that metal from the fact that I'm a that I'm a love heavy metal and metal hard rock. And awesome. you have actual real swords that oh, you I got three. I got two swords and yeah. a dagger. Nice. Yeah. And she'll pull it. She'll pull it on you in a second. She'll pull them. Oh, yeah. So yeah. take 20 scrolls. <laughs> <laughs> she'll I'll find surely, you. I'll chop surely your head off and then a, ask questions. <laughs> exactly. See, that's the thing that I love it. People are like, I love Shirley. She's so sweet. And she is. I don't mean that's absolutely the case. She's a very wonderful person. Sweet, but, but not weak. you know, I, I mean, she just, she, her persona is not the same as what's going on on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that smile too. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Mary? What, what you got on the horizon? What plans are you excited for? Well, I pre-ordered the Steam Deck today. So after. Oh, my nice. nice. guy. I'm it was gonna hard. be playing. Oh God, the site wouldn't work, and I'm on my. I'm doing yeah. it on my cell phone, and it's just everything's going wrong. And I was afraid I was gonna miss it, but I got in, got it pre-ordered, so I can take my Steam games wherever I travel because I I do travel a lot. Um, and I'm looking forward to trying to get back into gaming more. I, it's been really hard for me. I, I have family in Texas who I have to go take care of my aging parents, uh, sister with cancer. So it just, it's really changed my gaming. It's just why I haven't updated my channel in a long time. I just haven't had time to record or stream or do things. For sure. Um, So this is nice because it keeps me connected to these other gamers and, you know, and updated. And then I have a few friends that I still play with when I have the time. So I'm working really hard. I want to get back into it more and find ways to do it. And I think that Steam Deck is going to really help a lot, hopefully. Agreed. But I'm excited about that. Yeah. And then finishing up with the Borderlands and playing the, the other zombie games and some of the other things I have and haven't played yet. 
I love it. We're definitely going to have to add streaming Please. with Gabe on your, your itinerary. There you go. We yes. were very chaotic at our Back for Blood play. <laughs> to <laughs> say need... absolutely. I would love it. Yeah. That'd be I fun. Love it. What well, let me say a little thing. The, the, the Left for Dead game, when yeah. I was going through my divorce, like 12 years ago, was my go-to game. The, like, every night. Blossom Steam. Have a little drink, shoot the zombies, get the stress it. out. Yeah. Fabulous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's like a dream Friday night of just relax. I know, I know. Blow the head off some zombies. <laughs> That's great. Jessa, how about you? Yeah. What a, okay, what a well, great I, got on I the, will. On the horizon here. Yeah. I will uh, finish this up with, with two things. One, I just really wanted to quickly say, you know, if it isn't clear, really what the dames each of us bring to the table is haughty. Um, actually, I'll do Shirley first. Shirley brings a massive audience. Um, and... She really brings, I mean, out of all of us, she's the most stereotypically grandmothery looking, you know, you know, you just see her and you're just like, oh. you know, and she's wonderful in that way. She has that smile. I basically live for that smile right there. Getting her, that's, that's my goal. Every live stream is to get her to smile and do that wonderful, you know, not like she doesn't smile naturally, but I mean, get her that, that laugh because it just lightens the whole stream. Mary is really bringing in that co-op feel and really continually encouraging as well as having all kinds of toys and masks and headwear. Um, but she really ca- continues to encourage the fact that we need to be playing together. Yeah. And um, Haughty, she she got hired on as a dame for one reason. She is so kind. That was a big thing. That and How we met Haughty was incredibly serendipitous, like crazy story. So... Um, so I had a dream and then and then that same day I met Haughty. So and there's that's a little there's a, that's a quick version of it. But uh 62 baby. But anyway, that's the dame's lucky number. So um so anyway, that's Haughty. So I want to just and then for me it's just all the stuff I can do in the back end to run, keep everything running is what I bring to it. So I wanted to really highlight each each dame brings and then the answer second answer to your question to answer that really quickly is what's up for the dames is um Honestly, what we really want to do is we want to get on Twitch because, but we have been unable to do so. Twitch, if you're listening, we have been unable to get on your platform because of constrictive contracts that do not allow us to co-stream on Twitch and on YouTube. And there's oh. no way we're just going to dump our YouTube audience yeah. and th- so that we can stream only on Twitch. Forget it. But I mean, you know, so, so, I mean, there's just no way we're going to do that. So, you know, we really want to get on Twitch. We've been trying to reach out to people, trying to find people who we need to connect to. Yeah. Um, the person that we need to talk to is a man named Tyler Nosinzo. We can't get, he, he, I have been unable to get in touch with him. So we really want to bring our grandma gaming ship of joy to the Twitch waters. That's the first thing. The yeah. second thing is long term is we really want to, um, I want to produce content that is animated that teaches grandmas and grandpas how to play using some voice work from the dames, mostly from our current live streams. Um, And then also we just want to continue to grow and let people know that gaming is for everyone and that game developers are missing out on a massive audience of retirees who have so much income so much time and just need someone to destigmatize it and also make it very, very simple. If you go and search how to play video games on YouTube, there are no basic tutorials. There's lots of how to make your character Uber X or whatever, but there's nothing that says, here's what a controller is. Here's how you move your character forward. People need that. Because there are so many people who want to play and also want to use gaming to connect with their younger people. Mm -hmm. And we want them to be able to walk into their grandson's or granddaughter's room and say, hey, that's a a PS4. But, you know, I got a PS5 for uh, last year for myself for Christmas. So how about we uh, how about we play some uh, play some whatever? You know what I mean? And they would know. Grandma, is that you? (laughs) I want to bridge, create a gap between the developers. And the grandmas and grandpas out there. That's really the ultimate goal for me of the dames while continuing to provide personality filled content. That is a message we can stand behind. Fantastic. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, y'all are 
probably one of the most fascinating groups of people I've ever had the privilege to interview. So thank you so much for for spending some time with us today. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, I I don't want uh, people to not be able to find you. So where's the best place to to follow y'all? You can plug Twitter, you know, wherever, are, wherever you guys are at. We are the Grand Dames everywhere. We are at thegranddames.com, twitter.com uh, forward slash the Grand Dames, youtube.com forward slash the Grand Dames. Oh, twitch.com forward slash the Grand Dames if somebody would call us. Uh. <laughs> We're Grand Dames everywhere. I love it. Cool. <laughs> Well, coming soon to TikTok, Instagram, and all those other places as thing. well. Too. The world better get prepared because the grand dames are coming. That's for damn sure. So absolutely, we here. Yeah, we here. It's a, it's a beautiful. We have our teacups, and just a little secret: not always is there tea in them. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, what you drinking there? Cheers, Shirley. Shirley. Yeah. 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 Actually, this is juice. Okay. Sorry. Uh, yeah, sure, it's uh-huh. juice. All right. Yeah, yeah we see you down there. Yeah. And look like it. We know how metal you are. We don't believe that for a second. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you out there for watching. As always, uh, be sure to uh, you know hit up the Grand Dames at all the, the places that the, the um, uh, that we listed here today. Uh, go over to GameInformer.com if you want some of the best written work in, on the internet about video games. Uh, stay here at YouTube.com. Like, share, and subscribe. You know the whole thing. So thank you all for joining us. We'll see you next time. <laughs>